Welcome to Excel and Business Math video number 32. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about rounding time calculation to the nearest five minutes or 15 minutes using this amazing rounding function called mRound. Now, we'll see that mRound can take a time and round it to the nearest five minutes. So 10, 12, 29. If we're using the rounding rule up or down, well, that one goes down to the nearest five minutes because it's not halfway or more. 10, 12, and 30 seconds, that's exactly two and a half minutes between either 10, 10, or 10, 15. So because this is exactly halfway between, it gets rounded up to 10, 15. And then, of course, 8.31 would be rounded to the nearest five minutes, 8.30. And 743 would be rounded to 745. Now, being able to use the M round function to round for payroll is really important because lots of businesses don't let you write any particular time down. It's always rounded to some number of minutes. Now, we want to start off by going to the sheet M round and talking about how M round works. Now, I'm going to look at a pricing example first. Here are some prices. And in some businesses, they want to round the prices to a certain amount. Now, if we use the round function like we've done so many times, I put in some number. But when I get to number of digits, that just looks through the number and says what digit to round to. But that's not what we want to do here. We want to round each one of these prices to the nearest 50 cents. And when we say round to the nearest 50 cents, the only possibilities become 0, 50 cents, a dollar, a dollar 50, two dollars, and so on. So if I have 50 cents and I'm talking about 0 to 50 cents, everything from 24 pennies down to 0 would be rounded down to 0, and 25 all the way up to 50 would be 50 cents. So if I look at 104.24, well, that's 24 pennies on its way towards the next 50 cents. So this will be rounded down to 104. This is exactly 25 pennies. So this will be rounded up to 104.50. And because this is 43, this will be 104.50. And this will be 105. We don't have to do it manually. We can use M round tab number. That's this right here, comma. And they call it the multiple. Remember, multiple 0, 50, a dollar, a dollar 50, two dollars. So we're going to put in that multiple of 50 cents. And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And just as we did manually, this one is 104, 25 cents goes up to the nearest 50, 43 goes up to the nearest 50, and 99 goes up to the next dollar. Now, we're not limited to pennies. We could round to the nearest $10 equals M round. Here's the number, comma. There's the multiple. And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key. Of course, that one will go down to 100. Double click and send it down. This one does because it's exactly one penny below the middle. That means $5 and above would go up. 105 goes up to 110. 106 goes up to 110. Now let's see how to do this with time. And actually, I'm going to delete this and remove the number formatting because we need to learn how to enter a time here. Because if I'm going to round these amounts to, say, five minutes, well, maybe later I want to change it to 15 minutes. So we're going to enter it in as a time. 0, 0 for hours, colon, 0, 5 for minutes. And guess what? I'm not even going to put the AM or PM in. When I do that, it gets actually entered as military time. But if you look up into the formula bar, it will always list it even as military time with the AM or PM. And of course, up here it says 12.05. But that's five minutes. Now I can use that as a formula input. And I can use equals M round 
there's the number or our time value to round to comma. There's the multiple five minutes. I'm going to hit the F4 key, close parentheses. This one is right before two and a half minutes, so this will round down to 1010. This one is exactly halfway. That means two and a half minutes, so it will round up to 1015. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. That is so cool. Now I can change this up here. 00, zero colon 15, that's rounding to the nearest 15 minutes. Control Enter, and that one changes. The rest do not. Control Z. Now this one down here, we want to round each one of these to the nearest 10 minutes. Well, this one's already rounded to the nearest 10 minutes. So is this one. But this one will go down to 1040. This one will go down to 630. Equals M round. I'm going to put in my time value, comma. There's the multiple F4 to lock it. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And sure enough, these did not change. They were already to the nearest 10 minutes, and these went down. All right, now let's go see how to do this in payroll. I'm going to click on the sheet nearest five minutes. Here's our employees, our wage per hour, time in, time out. Now I want to do a few things before I get to the actual number of hours. This way we can kind of visually see and prove to ourselves that it's working. Let's just do a straight formula equals later time or time out minus the earlier time. Notice we don't have any night shifts here. It's all AM and PM. So we're good to go with that formula. This is not going to give us actual hours. It will give us the decimal value. And then the number formatting will be pulled. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now I've got to show you a good trick about time number formatting. With the column selected, I can use the keyboard Control-1 to open up Format Cells. I want to go over to the Number tab. In Time, we can choose. And I want to choose to see in Military Time, because I don't want to see the AM, PM. I just want to see the hour and the minute. Click OK. So if I was rounding by hand to the nearest five minutes, this would be 6.30. If I was rounding this to the nearest five minutes, this would be 7.10. This one would be 7.30. This one would be 7.50, and so on. Now let's try M round. I'm going to left arrow to get that time value, comma, and there's the amount to round to. Now remember, underneath there is a decimal. That's only five minutes through a 24-hour day. So if you look at the decimal, it's really small. All right, I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now I want to use my trick here, highlight, right click. And on the mini toolbar, I want to copy format only. I'm going to click, and now I should see exactly what I want. Each one of the values rounded to the nearest five minutes. That is a handy trick to have when you're doing payroll calculations in Excel. Now, actually, if we wanted hours, we would just take that and multiply it by 24. But sometimes we don't want to have a two-step process. So I'm going to say M round. And right in the number argument, I'm going to take time out minus time in, comma. And the multiple, I'm going to click on that cell up there, F4 to lock it. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. That's the decimal, and we don't want that, so I'm going to click in the top cell, F2. I want the actual number of hours, so I'm going to multiply by 24. Control Enter, oh, that number formatting, Control Shift tilde grave accent, double click and send it down. Now I want to come to the last cell and hit F2. I want to verify that the relative cell references and the absolute cell reference are pointing to the correct location. And they are. I'm going to click Escape. Over here, F2, that one's looking good. Over here, F2, looking good. Now we need to calculate gross pay based on number of hours. So we have all three conditions. For requiring round, we're going to deal with money. So we have to round to the penny. We have extraneous decimals, and we're going to have a total down here. So you ready? Equals round. 
hours work times wage per hour as relative cell references, comma, two, because we're rounding to the penny. Close parentheses. Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, hit F2. That is looking good. Now I'm going to come down here, Alt equals to add. I'm going to redirect and highlight just the cells that have the numbers I want, and Enter. Look at that time number formatting. How did that get there? Up to the drop down for General, or use your keyboard to apply General, Control-Shift-Tilde. All right, so we saw how to round to five minutes, but what about 15 minutes? It's a formula input. If the business decided to change, then we would simply say 00, 0 colon 15. And when I hit Enter, instantly everything will update. Now I'm going to Control Z on that, Control Z. Now let's look at our last example. Let's go over to the sheet, Night Shift. Now here's our employees. Here's the wage, here's time in, time out. And on this sheet, some employees start in the AM and get off in the PM. But some employees, like Lydia Watts, got on at 5.40 p.m. and left at 1 a.m. That means our standard formula of time out minus time in will not work. Now, last video, we saw how to do it with the if function. We saw how to do it with the logical function. We also saw how to do it with the mod function. Now, the mod function is the fastest and the easiest amongst the three methods. All we have to do is take Time out minus time in, and it doesn't care if it started in the AM or PM, and we simply comma. And in the divisor, we divide that by 1. Mod, because of the internal algorithm, will always give us the correct decimal of hours worked. Control-Enter. And we're going to keep it as a time number format and copy it down. Now, we have our formula for hours worked as a decimal for day shift or night shift. But now we need to, for each one of these, round to the nearest five minutes. So this one will be 625. This one's 720. But this one's got to be rounded up to 625. This one up to 520. This one down to 535. So how do we round to a specific amount? We use M round number. That's simply the time calculation, comma, and the multiple. There it is up there, F4, close parentheses, Control Enter. I actually want to double click and send this down. And then I want to come over and highlight, right click, and on the mini toolbar, click the Format Painter. Click to apply the time number format. And sure enough, look at that. It did every single one correctly. Now I'm going to come to the last cell and hit F2, verifying the cell references, and Enter. This one also, F2, looking good. Now time in hours. We could simply take that rounded time value as a decimal underneath and multiply it by 24. Equal sign, left arrow, times 24. That 24, of course, is never going to change, so we hard code it into our formula. Control-Enter. I want to get rid of that time number formatting, so I go up to Home, drop down for General, or Control-Shift, grave accent, tilde. Double click and send it down, and now we have time in hours. Now we can do our gross pay. And we have money, so we have to round. We have extraneous decimals, and we're going to add up all of these down here. So we have to round, not using M round, using round. This rounds to a certain position. So I'm going to take time in hours times wage per hour, both as relative cell references, comma. And I round to the 2, close parentheses. That will round it to the penny, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, hit F2. Cell references looking good. Now I come down here, Alt equals, redirect. It's got the right gross pay numbers, and Enter, 2,402. All right, so there are two homework problems for you to do. And in this video, we very importantly learned 
about how to use M round to round to a certain amount. For payroll, it could be some time amount, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. We also, at the beginning of the video, saw how to use M round for pricing and for time. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including next video number 33. We'll talk about FICA and Medicare deductions from gross pay. All right, we'll see you next video.